what up? It's your boy T Bird and Reaction, and today I'm about to get, try to catch up with some things. I got things doing a, a, a trade rise five and one. Now I'm still, and know it's been done. I'm still trying to finish a couple seasons about Big Jai though. This is episode eight of ten, so we got two more gloves after this, man. But yeah, it's starting to get good. Oh man, it's starting to get good. So last left off though, um, we found that um the one boy uh. Uh, that was Big Job. The other boy, him, they got him and Big Job. I uh, found that he's getting, they, they got camera. Uh, he's getting blackmailed by the one his uh his co season ladies because because uh, of because she's married and her husband want him to keep uh doing what he's doing with her so he can um cheat on private as well too. It's ridiculous, but yeah. So last left off, him Big Job and the other boy and boy wanted to put the job. And other than that, I remember Thurgood. That's the only person name character name I remember. I think his name Thurgood, something like that. I think it's Thurgood. Anyway, the other boy um got with the, uh, his uh, friend and everything, so they got like they, they about to be item. But I mean, what's going to happen with him and the and the other girl that uh, he beat up the the man, her ex boy, the supposed ex husband over. But either way, let's see what's going to happen now on this episode of. Uh, Color season though. This one ain't be followed by a music video because it didn't have a music video after this one. So, um, it's but it was, of course, we'll begin with a uh, blue chew uh, advertisement. So, let's keep going. Let's get it. All right, bro. I'm on my way. Oh, hold on a second. I gotta, um, fish the quality, of course. Anyway, yeah, let's get it. All right, bro. I'm on my way. Oh, snap. Kim, what's up? Hey, mm -hmm. uh, I saw, of saw your car in the driveway and I just figured I'd come get a little razzle dazzle. Uh -oh. I feel you, but like you still in the wheelchair though, baby. Oh, uh, the chair just helped me get from across the street. Lord. I hear you, but your legs are still numb, all right? Let's wait till you get back to normal before we reconvene with the mean wing. No, yeah. no, 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 I, I've been working, working on that. Just, just a little, a little time. <laughs> Good energy. Yo. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Go to com and get your free month supply, all right? Type in my promo code, Ja. Right. And you're welcome, man. <laughs> She's struggling to get up. Stop. <laughs> Stay with me. Stay with me. Why don't you? Look what the cat dragged in, huh? <laughs> yeah. You showed up just in time. Oh, look at your face, huh? Come on, boo. You know, you know who that is? Oh, look. She's shocked, brother. Look at this. Wow. If it isn't the Milk Dug Brothers, what's up, man? I'm about to break your jaw. What? Hey, wait, come on, man. You think this is a game? You think I'm somebody to play with? Mm. Are you a goof bag, bro? Why are you f***ing with me, man? I don't even know you. Yeah, you involved in this whole for sale scheme y'all got going on over here. Mm. For sale? Like I told you before, I didn't know Shelly was married. Give mom, what are you, what are you doing here? Your husband thought it was a game. I had to pop out and show him what time it was. Yeah, your Shh. bookie bear threatened the homie Gilvon to keep your marriage Gilvon. occupied. Oh, Gilvon, huh? Yeah. So you do know this. Henry, what the hell is going on? How do you guys know each other? Your husband tried to bribe me and it's spending more time with you. So you paid Gilvon to sleep Ain't with me? Ain't nobody you. selling, all right? Nobody got paid to do nothing. Your husband been pressuring Gilvon to spend more time with you. Oh, so you can spend more time with Tiffany. And don't divert from the fact that your son choked me up right now and you ain't doing nothing about it. Okay, so what? I know you're sleeping with Tiffany. I'm not sleeping with Tiffany. Pap, you's a f***ing lie. You took pictures of me and the homies and you f***ed all our shit up. Exactly. I ain't seen nothing to your little stable of Hit this Gil. Mm. Okay, okay, you're hurting him. You had the addresses. I had the addresses, man, but I ain't seen two. I lost my favorite chick behind your dumb. Ass. Hey. I mean, suck this, man. <laughs> Gilvon, you you're hurting him. Man, I promise you I ain't seen shit to nobody, man. Just Gilvon, man. I promise you that. Lies, bro. If you ain't tell her, how she find out then? Look, man. I promise I ain't seen shit to nobody, man. Gilvon, put him down, please. He he didn't do it. <coughs> I only started seeing Gilvon because you started taking all those business trips and left me home alone a lot. Hey, 
They're just business trips. I know what goes on on those business trips. That's how me and you met, remember? It's not the same. So you trying to tell me you not sleeping with Tiffany? We all know you smashing Tiffany. So full of Y'all both full of Henry and Shady Shelly. Y'all deserve each other. Mm. Exactly. Check this out, Shelly. This shit was cool while I lasted. Done. Don't call me, text me, nothing. And as for you, little if I see you again, I'm beating your ass on sight. <laughs> now, homie. Let's get the f out of here, D. I bet I know who probably this and the who was probably had a hand of sending the pictures that uh chick that um caught they got mad about it, that uh ran up to him. That's who sent that picture. They ran up to her, that's who sent that picture to her, y'all. That he uh rushed out so she could see her. Mm-hmm. But wow. Gilvan was on some was on some gangster shit. But I love him that uh, I like how this going, but I'm trying to figure what's gonna happen with home, the other homegirl. <sighs> Put me to sleep, girl. <laughs> you and all these tricks. Well, clearly you did your thing too, boo. Mm. Well, I had to get my leak back. You definitely got your leak uh, back. I got, <laughs> I got some more in me now. Mm -mm. We need to get up and go. We cannot be in bed all day. Says who? I'm grown. You grown. I make my own money. And right now, you on the schedule. Yeah, I'm holding you hostage, girl. I'm holding you hostage. <laughs> this don't make no sense, man. Look, I just want to apologize, bro, for dragging you into this. You got enough going on. Yeah, it ain't your fault, bro. All right? Henry didn't tell Shannon. Unless you think you're lying. We can go back upstairs. I don't think he's lying. Yeah, and was scared as. What? Hmm. Think nigga peed on himself too. <laughs> Come on, man. But on a lighter note, man, you, you, you gonna bounce back, bro. You gotta remember, I just lost Shelly. Shelly, bro, got some big panties to fill. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but since we're on the topic, we was back at the office. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. I thought I heard you say something about losing your favorite. Mm. Uh, what? What? You heard what I said. <laughs> Come on now, man. We don't do favorites, bro. Because favorites come with what? Feelings, bro. Feelings and favorites go together. You know that already. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. What, you have amnesia? <laughs> no, I don't. You don't remember? Yeah, okay. Oh, snap. Looks like my day about to get better. What happened? Tammy. She's talking about can I slide through. Of course. You can drop me off on the way. Oh, yeah. I'm about to drop it off in the drawers, but glunk. Ha <laughs> ha. Here we go. <laughs> Damn, bro, five years? You finna cut the dreads off? Okay. Them shits was nappy anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, 10 o'clock? Yeah, that's good. All right, for sure. Excuse me. What's up? You just gonna have me here all the way to the afternoon and not feed me? I mean, I was gonna order some takeout, but you know. Love me some trail mix. I know. Man, how do you know that? Don't worry about all that. Just get the bag and come on to the bed, big daddy. Why you gotta say bed? Hey, all right. <laughs> Shoot. Well, well, well. Hey. What's up? I wasn't expecting you here. I know, but I figured since we had to cancel yesterday, we could go ahead and get a session and tonight oh she had to work some overtime tonight but she told me to go ahead and get a solo session on with you mm. okay so mm. you're watching tonight super bad super your earnest was cracking boy what you up to tonight yeah hey guess who just called your boy back finally yeah, me, Tammy. Boy, I told you she was going to hit me. You know what I'm saying? Talking about she wanted me to come through and talk. You know what that means? 
about to slide in. Yeah, boy. Hey, I just came back from the store, man. I had to grab a couple Maggies, you feel me? For the activities. About to fillet her a little Lawrence. Hey, let me hit you back, bro. All right. So, Karina, how you doing? Yeah, Karina. Great. She the one did it. She did it. Mm -hmm. I think she did it. You looking good as usual? Oh, well, thank you for noticing. Oh, yeah. Oh, you about to go get your favorite kettle corn? Um, no, I'm actually about to go get a COVID test. Oh, you symptomatic? I'm not, but you know, I was around somebody who had COVID. Damn, niggas still catching COVID these days. Apparently so. Wonder how they caught it. You tell me. Why would I be able to tell you how somebody caught COVID? Because nigga, you had COVID like three days ago. Oh, yeah. Oh. Karina, I meant to call you. Oh, yeah. Was a false alarm. You know, I didn't have COVID. Um, it was just allergies. Allergies? I'm just saying, like, the cold climate be changing on me and be getting me all mucusy up in here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Remember I was doing this the other day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, mucusy and congestion and all that. But, but you should go in there anyhow and get you a test just to be sure. For what? You ain't have COVID, okay? What? I know you got a whole program and all, and I was with it. But you lying to me to get me out for some nurse bride? That was f***ed up. Nurse? Yep. Karina, you the one that told Shannon? I did. But look, I ain't telling nothing Shane needs to know. Karina, that wasn't your f***ing business to tell. But it became my f***ing business when you kicked me the f*** out and then snuck her in before I even got to my car. So you just sabotaging my whole situation? You think I give a damn about your little situation? All that shit went out the window when you stopped giving a f*** about me. You ain't right for that. <laughs> oh, I'm not right. Mm -hmm. I'm not right. Grow up. I'm gonna go get my popcorn. Mm. Oh, you thought it's gonna be some cake on this side of the door, huh? Oh, shit. Where Tammy at, man? Some fresh glistening yams. Sound good, don't it? Hey, right, not tonight, bro. Baby, I told you I had the door. <laughs> Stop smacking. Demetrius, come on in. Oh, Tammy, what's going on? She just want to talk to you, bro. Building your marriage way real fast. Baby, can you give us a minute, please? Yeah. I'm going to check on dinner. Be in the kitchen eavesdropping. Thank you. Oh, shit. I just want to talk to you. Can you come in, please? For what? Talk. I said please. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, what's going on with this? First of all, damn, she fine, but what's up? Can I get you anything? Anything to drink? Any snacks? Nah, I'm good. Since when you start turning down snacks? Tamara, what am I doing here? Okay. By the feels of it, I could tell you thought this was something else. Yeah, I'm not used to getting, can you come through texts from you, and it be this. Oh, those come through texts for me now. Baby. Look, I'm going to go ahead and dip, because clearly you found what you're looking for. Yeah, I did. I found what I needed. Justin's a great guy. Him and I fit. Besides, I just wanted to apologize for how I handled things the other day. Told her she was wrong for leaving you on stuff. Baby! Mm -hmm. Hey, look, you don't got to apologize for nothing. You ain't do nothing wrong. Yeah, technically, I didn't. But, you know, after Justin and I talked, I could have handled things way differently. So for that, I'm sorry. Wow. What? I've been knowing you three plus years. I ain't never heard you apologize for nothing. Mm. Well, I've been working on some things. Thanks to me. Lord. Justin. It's just a mess. So you and comedian, this it's a real thing? Yes, we are. You sure you're not going to just dump this dude in the summertime? <laughs> That's the old me. He's around for all seasons. All right, well, uh, I guess I'm happy for you. Are you really happy for me? Mm -hmm. No, there's not a chance. All right. Yeah, I'm happy for you, but not for me. How's that? 
That's fair. Hey, bro, my cousin got to sell on these prawns earlier, bro. I got some. He, he, he trying to eat. You gonna stay for dinner? Nah, I'm straight. You turning down food now, too? Hey, under the circumstances, absolutely. <laughs> Tammy, you know you could have just text me this shit, right? Yeah, I could have. But I hurt you to your face, so I wanted to apologize to your face. I wouldn't say you hurt me, you know what I'm saying? Mm, I don't know, by the looks of it. Okay, I might have been a little perturbed, irritated. <laughs> I'm saying this cuddle season been a mess. Well, maybe it's time to hang it up, don't you think? Ain't too many Tammies out there, though. Oh, no, nah, you're right. Ain't too many Tammies at all. This, this guy, this, yeah, right. <laughs> this nigga, for real, man. <laughs> Portia, baby, what's up? What you doing here? <laughs> right, I, I did pop up on you. Um, I wanted to make up for the last cancel time that we had. Ashley had a Double shift, so. Okay, what, what y'all buying a house or something? <laughs> no, why'd you ask? The other day when she came over for her solo session, too, uh, she told me you were working overtime, so I was like, oh. Huh. I see. You come in? Yeah. Oh, shit. I ran away. Damn, shit is getting real right now. My goodness. Mm mm mm. What time was it? Let me see if I got time. The, 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 I'm not gonna do it back to back. Uh, I'm gonna probably do it the video, but she's getting real right now. Man, I can't wait to see to finish these up, man, for sure. Other than that, uh, it's been a good episode though. Yeah, I figured like the homegirl had something to do with it though, but the way they yoked up my man is though. Yeah, home little homie needed that man. He was an asshole, but still, this was good. I mean, I just hope everything go go good with Thurgood and, and his check, though. But other than that, another good episode of uh, Cold Season. So if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T-Bear signing off. One love.